go to the tail of the tape. Heavyweight Championship of the World. Anthony Joshua is 31. Pulev is 39. 6'6", 241. And Joshua, remember, dropped 11 pounds in the six months between the first and second Andy Ruiz fight. He's 241 tonight, four pounds heavier than the rematch with Ruiz. Dion Duarte of South Africa is the referee, and we're underway. No, uh, no instructions needed. Round one, heavyweight championship of the world. Anthony Joshua in the white trunks. Kubrat Pulev in the red. And it will be interesting to see if Pulev is able to change the equation early and test Anthony Joshua. Joshua, of course, big, fluid, determined, but he can be hurt. Rocked by Dillian White, Alexander Povetkin, and of course, Andy Ruiz, who's knocked out and knocked down by Vladimir Klitschko. So you can hurt this man, but he has quite the offensive arsenal. As long as Joshua doesn't stand in front of Pulev too long to get timed, then he's fine. But look, oh, oh. right here, he just needs to not stand right in front of him and then look for the right opening. And there's a combination from Joshua. Pretty much blocked by Pulev covering up as they begin to engage here. Halfway through round number two. Well, so far we've seen the Saudi Arabia version of Anthony Joshua. Is that fair to say, fellas? I think he's. I think Joshua's being patient right now. Well, no, he is, but still, this is rather tentative. Long right hand. Yeah, he's fighting off the jab, and he's looking for opportunities that way. Previous iterations of Joshua, you'd see him crouch down a little bit, lunge in, look for those big shots. He's definitely fighting more like the fighter that beat Ruiz the second time. Gets under the hook again. Weaves nicely underneath, so good defensive skills by Joshua. And a return right hand. Good counter right. Pull of his hurt. Second right hand. That clipped him as well. Now he goes in for the kill. Pull of says he's not hurt. Screaming out. But Joshua, there's confidence. There's aggression. And this is where AJ needs to be a little bit uh, careful. This is exactly where, where he got hurt with Andy Ruiz. Getting reckless, going aggressive, and going towards him. Beautiful right hands from the champion. Knocking Pulev around the ring. Hits him with an uppercut as well. Another uppercut. That hurt Pulev. Pulev's on the ropes. He's hurt. He turns his back. That's the second time Pulev turns his back. That fight could have been stopped. That's a knockdown, but that could have been stopped. Let's try this again, Brian. Anthony Joshua is a composed and ferocious finisher. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> uh, that's what you said against Ruiz. Let's see. Can he close the show? This is impressive. This is the destroyer that we saw through his first 20 fights. Pulev is hurt. Pulev on the ropes again. Turns away. Does he want any more? The uppercut. Pulev down on his back. Second knockdown of the round. Two knockdowns. There's 17 seconds left in this round. They get him back in there. This could end. Joshua showing the complete repertoire. Uppercuts, right hands, now a hook. Another uppercut, that uppercut has found a home. He is hitting him every time. And the round ends, and whoa, and that's well after the bell and unnecessary. Very impressive round nonetheless for Anthony Joshua, obviously. Brian, you made the point after that first knockdown. That very easily could have been stopped. Here you see Anthony Joshua Coming in, Pulev lunges with the jab. Joshua faints, ducks it, lands that big right hand. And before Pulev can go down, he stumbles into the corner with his back turned. Sergio, I've seen fights stop because of that. That's all body language. That's a big man not knowing how to react to being hurt. The, that's a big taboo in boxing, guys. You don't turn your back, but that's instinctive. That's something that Pulev's not used to. When you turn your back like that, the fight can be stopped. That means you no longer want to continue and the referee should save you. We were told by McCracken and Joshua, hey, as an amateur, I was a real boxer. I can box, I can get on my toes, I can box. I just fell in love with my power. So now, do we see in this next phase of his career that the best of both worlds, the combination of his boxing ability and his power, that would be something truly special. When you Good hard jab and a right hand by Joshua. That just snapped the head back on Pulev. That's a hard, beautiful jab. 
That right uppercut will land again. That straight right will land again. But he has to be patient, Joshua does. So keep stinging Pulev with that jab. Keep him on the outside. Chris, do you like the way he's boxing now, though, having, you know, with the knockdowns in the bank? I like the way he's boxing because he's going upstairs, downstairs, looking for that big right hand and that uppercut. Three in a row there right there. Is. Four. There it is. Putting his foot on the gas now. There was a little something extra on that right hand. Then Pulev lands with an uppercut. You, you know, if I'm the referee, Brian, that's like the tenth rabbit punch that Kubrat Pulev yeah. has thrown to the back of the head of Anthony Joshua. At some point, there's got to be a stronger warning. Yeah, a warning, you know, during the round. You, you can do that. He has not had real, a real control of this fight, really, from the very start when he didn't give instructions. It's very puzzling when you have a referee in there for the heavyweight championship of the world. Final minute, round seven. Again, there was that flurry from Anthony Joshua in this round. Beautiful scoring shots and throwing that vicious uppercut multiple times trying for damage. See, there you go. That's the jab that sets up that right hand right there. That's the start of four uppercuts. The fourth right there connecting right on the button. Good punches from Anthony Joshua. Well, Gareth Davies ringside, you know, wanted to see a little more aggression. You have to be happy with this. I mean, look at that uppercut. But <laughs> Pulev has a real jaw. Chris, how do you have it scored? Well, I've got it basically eight, seven rounds to one in favor of Anthony Joshua. I actually gave Pulev the last round a strong first minute. I thought he landed the most consequential punch, a straight right hand that moved Joshua back. But it is all AJ in this fight, including so far in this round. Yeah, and that's, I wouldn't be surprised if a judge went Joshua's way in that round too. I mean, but maybe, maybe not. But it's a good scorecard. Look at these uppercuts. Two of them landed. Three, four. Four uppercuts land by Anthony Joshua. You know, it's funny watching these inside exchanges. When Joshua throws that uppercut, Pulev doesn't seem all that interested in defending it. He's sort of allowing Joshua to continue to throw that straight up. You, you rarely see three in a row land. Uppercuts, anyway. It was like the end of that Gervonta Davis, Leo Santa Cruz fight. Because it's a dangerous punch to throw, especially if you're a big man. It's rare to see big men like Joshua throw more than one uppercut like that. Maybe you watch that fight. I've never seen an uppercut like that. Because it leaves you susceptible. <laughs> when you, when oh, another one. And Pulev is hurt. Pulev is rocked. He's on shaky legs. And down he goes. That was three consecutive uppercuts that Pulev got hit with. And he is badly hurt. He is wobbling around the ring. Ordered back to the neutral corner. 15 seconds now for Joshua to finish. Third knockdown of the fight for Anthony Joshua. Right hand, and down goes Pulev, and that's it. And there is your ferocious finish. The count is on. And they get to 10, and Anthony Joshua has an emphatic knockout win. The champ is back and back in style. Taking the bow in London, and he deserves to. And I'll say this for Dion Duarte, the, the referee. As Joshua steps out already. He counted to 10. You're allowed to. Is he leaving? No, he's coming down. Floyd, Floyd, Mayweather. To Floyd Mayweather. Look at that. Look, we saw in the Klitschko fight that Pulev had no answer for those left hooks. In this fight, no answer for the uppercut. Look at that, even a big man getting an angle. Not only did he land the first uppercut, shifted to the right just to land it again. And Pulev trying to stay on his feet, but just could not. And yet, look, another uppercut, and that lands flush. And Joshua continues to punch. This is exactly what Anthony Joshua needed. He needed the knockout. He needed to answer questions. Did he answer his questions here of heart, of chin, of mental doubt? To me, he did. Well, I think no question, Sergio. You're right. Look at that right hand. There is a highlight reel shot. That, that is Lennox Lewis Hassan Rockman no, right that, there. That's that was, beautiful. That was the very end of Kubrat Pulev. You saw for that last knockdown, he was sort of walking around the ring in a daze. Credit him for getting to his feet, but that right hand just detonated on his chin. Oh, that's, that's the coup de grace hey, right listen, there. 
Lennox Lewis or Tommy Hearns. The way that elbow snaps, look at how the elbow snaps. He turns the wrist, pop. That's full extension on that right hand. Doesn't wow. get more beautiful than that. Talk about Hearns against Pepino Cuevas, one of the best right hands of all time. And that would that just finish things as Joshua can strut away as a winner.